advanced hydrogen this is not my usual thing that I make videos about but this is a starship coil and I've got it floating isn't that neat and before you get too excited it's floating over one of my MRM modules that I make see it floating isn't that neat watch cool huh take the take it off of here and see it doesn't work now this is copper wire this is magnet wire this is a, a magnet look I can pick this thing up look at that okay now what I'll do is, is I'm gonna unplug it so I'll come over here and I'll unplug it and I'll come back over here and I watch it don't stick anymore okay isn't that neat whoa the magnet in my toolbox got real friendly. So I've been playing around with uh, these Starship coils. I made a speaker out of one and did a lot of different weird things. But I can actually, uh, I can actually make them float. And so, um, kind of a poor man's UFO. My son used this for a science project for school, and you know, uh, obviously uh, jaws dropped. It worked really well. Uh, what I got going on now is I'm running my hydrogen cell with uh, MRM modules, these are magnetic resonance modules. And what these are, these are stacked up magnets with uh, wire wrapped around them. The wire is uh, magnet wire, which you can get from Radio Shack. These have eight uh, magnets in it. The magnets that are in there are these little ferrite magnets you can buy off of eBay, about 66 bucks for 100 of them. Matter of fact, the field in here is so strong I can feel it in my fingers from holding this magnet, especially when I get close to this. This thing is nuts over here. Uh, look at it, look at it. I just flipped the magnet over. Watch this when I get near the field. Look at that. Watch me do it again. I did the palm of my hand. I don't know if it worked or not. Try it again. See? Um, this, I'm not going to go into much detail on this, but uh, it is creating a, a pretty decent field. Um, I won't tell you what this is, but it is connected to my hydrogen cell. So I'm going to start you out on these. These things, um, I'm running square wave through them. And I don't know if you can see this. You get the trigger up higher so it'll stop moving. Okay, wait a minute go back to kindergarten here. All right, I got a nice square wave. Uh, the frequencies, you're gonna have to experiment with your own frequencies, are probably gonna be different for each uh, cell. But you put a square wave, this is AC. This is a uh, ultrasonic uh, generator. And uh, you can get these online, just look them up. This is what's used for ultrasonic cleaners. This thing is actually putting out 16.45 volts AC. See it over here, it's AC. Okay, and the frequency you're just got to play with. Um, how do you know you got the right frequency? Uh, I've got some pretty good ideas, and I'll let you know in some of the future uh, videos. But I just want to open something up. Look, this is a new field for hydrogen. Okay, this is something that I haven't seen explored at all by anybody else on YouTube or anywhere else. Uh, these are I'm putting magnetic resonance into a hydrogen cell, and look at the output at 20 amps. Um, see how fast that gas is going through there? Can you see that? That's really good. Um, I, yeah, I, I'm not jerking your chain. I'm not trying to sell nothing. I'm just telling people uh, I think we need to start playing with this stuff. And, um, you know, my amperage is okay. I, I'm at 24 amps. So that's not bad output. What I'm shooting for, and this is my goal, okay, is I want to have a hydrogen cell that you put tap water in and that's it okay no electrolyte no distilled water put tap water in a sucker and it'll run um, I know I'm supposed to have some certain things in the water I've been researching it hard uh, one of them is I'm supposed to have ions in the water and so what I'm shooting for is to be able to either put ions into the water or I'm going to have an electrolyte that is created inside the cell Okay, and uh, I'll get into detail on that as soon as I figure out, you know, what I'm going to do. But um, if I do this and create this cell, then I will be the only person on the planet that has a hydrogen cell that runs on straight tap water. And that's what my goal is. 
Okay, guys, uh, here is an MR module, the guts of it. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, put these together any way you want and play with them. Either this side is all north, this side is all south, and then you put a, a glue, epoxy them, use goop, whatever you want. Or you could do north, north, south, south, or all these are north, all these are south. Play with it, man. Just, just play with it. Wrap it with uh, paper tape all the way across. Run uh, magnet wire this way like a guitar pickup, about uh, 30 to 60 turns. On this side, you can run your uh, wire, run a little bit here, run a little bit in the middle, run a little bit here, you know, 40, 60, 80 turns. Um, I would suggest probably like 32 gauge. Dude, this magnet is wanting to get, is pulling towards this thing. This is nuts, dude. Dang. Here, I'm gonna show you something real quick. I just don't think I'm jerking your chain. Look. Look how far back I'm going from this thing. Whoa, man, I'm back like, here we go. I'm back like four, about three, four foot. Let's try this one. This one just has a red light. Let me get on the red light. I don't know if you can see the red light or not. There you go, right there. No, you can't see doodly. You have to trust me on this one. I don't know, that one was red light, red light, still red light, still danger, still danger. Whoa, there it is. Right there is the last of the red light, and I am really far from that thing. That is creating a very, very powerful um, magnetic field. I'm about probably over, about three and a half, maybe four feet away from this thing. Very strong fuel coming out of this stinker. So there you go, advanced hydrogen, doing something that I hope will revolutionize and change hydrogen. You may be seeing hydrogen history right here, folks.